too hunter tuned in this video i'm going to show you guys the two track days we went to with the black betty mustang this year the first one did not go as planned we ended up blowing the front main seal out of the timing cover and i got back to the house after i'll show you guys the clips here coming up Holy shit. That's all we needed. That's all we needed. So we got Michael out here. Here, they're gonna drop we in trouble. <laughs> I don't know what happened. 
I know, I know, as I pitched the camera when I was riding, I dropped it, so that's cool. Um, something happened, it seemed halfway down the track. I looked like it was pushing water, maybe? Uh, don't really know. Uh, I ran a 9 0. And that's as far as I know. I'll get up there and I'll let you know what the verdict is. Yeah. But it just shoved all. You can see it pushed all the way out. Oh, yeah, it's fully out. I think they made them. Yeah. Not too bad, though. 567 at the 8th, 125. So it was burning oil the whole And I went 126. Time. I only picked up one mile an hour from the eighth to the quarter. Probably because my front main seal took a shit. <laughs> that was an eight second pass. Oh, easy. That was an 870 pass. That uh, blow off uh, or uh, waste gate was uh, um, Dude, you should have seen the smoke. Oh, yeah. Nice and clean now. Yeah, I know. It's beautiful. Nice and, and shiny now. And needed an oil change anyway. Yeah. I just don't know why it pushed out, dude. But they make a seal holder, do you think, Michael? Oh, it's like a something. You gotta. Or you could make one. Right. That was on a lick though, dude. That felt pretty decent. It went one four we just, 60 You think we can just shove that sucker back in? I should have stayed on the brake longer. I would have took it. Did it hook hard? It looked like it. That like dude next to me went wheelie. one two sixty foot. It looked almost like a wheelie. Yeah, so. It came up and then it back down. I thought you were going to do a power wheelie, but it didn't. Almost. Yeah. That right there is the seal. Yeah. Pushed all the way out. You think the crank's fine? It, like with that cause it to go unbalanced or anything uh, like that? It's probably just some crankcase pressure. So it's like I'm saying the, the seal small? being pushed out, would that cause it to have any play? Maybe one of your lines deteriorated or something. You need a bigger catch can. <laughs> Maybe. Four port. But that seal's leaked from since I put this motor together. Mm. So maybe it was it's just it was just it's time. You know? The oil's so thin probably in it right now too that it, it might have pushed around it, it and then and then while it was pushing around it put, could have pushed yeah. it. I don't know. It was a little fuely when I checked it as well. Yeah, I didn't know if you were roasting the hole down the track or if it was I thought my I thought my tire was rubbing. Because I looked in the mirror and I'm like, I got fucking tire smoke rolling off my front yeah. left tire. And then I uh I slowed down and I it was billowing from the hood and I'm like I gotta get out of this fucker like I don't if, I don't know if it was on fire or what. Let's see what it was. That fucker was on a lick though, dude. That fucker. Yeah. I wish that was a good ass race, dude. From like mm -hmm. I was right with that guy, but once I saw you chief and I'm like, yep, yeah, no, nope, it's either he's pushing we water. Had the same exact reaction time too. Point four to point four. Hmm. I thought you were pushing water or something, but. No, that's all oil. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, why, they didn't clean the track? I know, I'm literally like, oh, make sure the dipstick's okay, and let's make sure we don't spray water and the fucking oil. They didn't clean the track. I don't think it oiled it down. We snow. Here, can you hold this camera for a second, please? Just leave it, leave it going. Hey, did you know who this guy is? Hello, YouTube. Like the good old days. Yes, back in the track. It feels good, Michael, to have you back. And Trevor, <laughs> it's fun. It's fun with the with the with the boys. That was weak. Yeah, that was weak. I've had better. All right, so we pushed the front seal back in and then drove it on the trailer. Yeah, the seal's just really loose. Super loose. Like you, what you just pushed it. Push yeah, I had to just like, kind of center it a little bit because I tried popping it in the top and then it wouldn't go in the so bottom. Leave it in the comments if you think the ICT billet front uh, twin turbo drain cover is the problem because the drain cover seemed to, like the seal they use in there might just be shitty. Maybe I just need to replace it with like a good seal and then like Loctite it in or something. I don't know, but car's running great. We don't and get Michael's some... here. Yes. Hey, pull the head I, am. I am here. Hey, yeah. So we go get some grub. Yep. Strap her down and head out. I got it back to the shop. 
I replaced the front main seal with an OEM AC Delco one. We also put some goop around it and it doesn't leak at all anymore. Ever since I put this car together, it's always had a leak on the front main seal and it would leak into the harmonic balancer and it would just kind of have a little puddle in the balancer at like all times. So here's the second track day that we went to with the car and like I said, new seal and everything like that. And uh, the car did amazing. Uh, it pretty much just runs in the eights like clockwork, mid fives in the eighth mile, um, like clockwork on like 21 pounds of boost. And uh, yeah, it just, the car just works really well. About to make a pass in the Mustang. Hopefully she uh, goes down good and There was still smoke rolling under the hood, so I was freaking out right here for a second. Uh, but it was just the oil that was still stuck in the heat wrap from when the seal blew initially the first track day we went to. Uh, but after this, it was totally fine. It all burned off of the heat wrap, finally.
guys. So that's going to kind of do it for this season. I might be able to get down to the track south of here uh, one more time before the snow flies uh, with the Mustang. I would really like to get an 850 out of the car. The best it's ever been is an 869. And it would go 860s like clockwork every pass if I would just stay in it the whole quarter mile. I just... I uh, have a kind of a shy foot after the thousand foot. I don't really like staying in it past that because going 150 miles an hour in a car from the 90s is kind of scary. <laughs> um, but yeah, like I said, the real goal with the car is just have a, like an 850 car and I really want to make it more streetable over the winter. I think that's a good goal. I want to be able to drive this car to the track and, you know, do the same thing I'm doing right now. Uh, or maybe I'll sell it and build a car, a different car, like a G-Body or a, a Fairmont or something like that uh, to do the same kind of thing with, but more street trim, like have carpet with a cage and like a dashboard and radio and a heater and everything like that. So maybe otherwise I'll probably just keep it, keep the car around as like a full blown race car and maybe we'll put a set of bigger turbos on it eventually and stuff. But um, yeah, that's going to be it for this video guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, have a great night and a better tomorrow. I'm going to end the video off showing you guys a pass from Vince's Mustang. Uh, Tim, the Trust Issues Mustang, it actually came down to my shop quite a while ago when I had the old shop and he brought it down for a tune and I pretty much rejected the car because it was a fire hazard. There was like a ton of ton of stuff wrong with it and Blazer Builds, Ryan, my buddy up here, he also has a YouTube channel. Go check him out, Blazer Builds. Uh, he went through that whole entire car and I actually have a lot of footage from that car like on the dyno and I've never really made any videos with it but Ryan has made a ton of really good videos uh, documenting the Tim Mustang and I'm just like blown away with how good that car has been running. After Ryan fixed a lot of stuff with it, he installed a lot of Hunter Tune parts, a lot of my AN line and the fittings. Uh, it's got a pair of my wastegates on it. It's got Hunter Tune 1500cc injectors in it. The dude literally drives it to get groceries every day and it runs 950s like clockwork with an LS1 car intake and like a you know baby cam like a stage 2 or something. Uh, so that's really cool to see, um, and I just figured it was, you know, kind of fitting to throw in here at the end of the video, uh, so you guys can leave this video, go check out Ryan's channel, and uh, go check out some of the videos on Tim, and them running side-by-side -side nines. Ryan uh, put together his truck, almost the same combination as my Mustang, and it runs about the same time as my Mustang on a good track, and you know it's just really cool street trim stuff like that it's uh making me a little jealous i think i want something a little bit more street trim but at the end of the day if i have something that's in street trim i'm gonna want a full race car so like where do you find the damn balance i don't know i don't know what to do okay <laughs> Turbo Danger Ranger.